what is it actually like to fly a Spitfire? It's, um, it's a unique experience. A Spitfire is generally a lovely aeroplane to fly. Mm. You, one American said you don't get into a Spitfire, you put it on and it's very <laughs> true. You strap the thing to yourself and it, there's lots of smells and there's lots of noise and there's lots of experiences that your body undertakes when you're flying something like a Spitfire. So as a type, they're phenomenal. When you're flying it, it's a huge privilege and also one that you, you're very conscious, you need to look after it. Do you find all the different Spitfires kind of have a different different quirks and different things and different Yeah, they do. Noises. They do. They've all got their own character. They certain aeroplanes do a you know have a slightly different noise, they have a slightly different smell, they perform slightly differently. Yeah. Um, even within the, the same marks you can if if you get into a cockpit of one aeroplane you can identify which one you're in. Right. Um, just wow. by the different temperament of the aeroplane. And what, what, just because I've never been inside a cockpit while starting that amazing Merlin engine up, is it mm. just it just go through? Do you still get really excited about it? Yeah, you do. I mean, when it, it sort of coughs through the exhaust and all of that comes past you and you instantly smell it. So you get an, a, a smell of oils and fuels. Uh, and then, of course, you start getting the warmth come from it because there's, the engine generates a lot of heat. And so that gradually starts coming back through the cockpit. Because you must have flown many, many aeroplanes, what is so unique and what is so special about a Spitfire? It looks so beautiful as a design. Yes, it's, it's one of those old sayings, if it looks right, it'll fly right. Yeah. And it's very true for the Spitfire. Good morning. Hope you enjoyed the intro. Um, this is the kit that we both are building. And don't worry, Mr. Mac. You're going to love building this kit. And I appreciate all the sentiment, but don't worry. It wasn't that hard. I like to build and I like to be passed forward. So, you've had some hard kits. Now you get some fun kit. Um, first off, in my last video, it didn't come across exactly how I meant it. When I said, car guys. It actually isn't built or meant as a slight against building cars. It was actually a size thing. It just didn't come out right, I guess. Um, a car is this big. Mine that I'm talking about will be uh, wider than can fit in here if I don't put panorama on. It's just about size. It's not about the building. It's about the size. So, I do apologize if that came out wrong, and we'll go from there. So, after the intro, you'll see that this is the one I... No, that's not it. Oops. That's the one I want to build. It's Operation Dynamo 1940, which is the uh, evacuation of Dunkirk. This is a very famous squadron, number 19. They actually got the first Spitfires, so they were well versed in how to use them. And I really like the uh, camo scheme underneath, it's different, I've never seen it before, except for in pictures. Uh, those interested, Charlie Max doing the big one, big uh, diagram, that's the, uh, that, that's from the Battle of Britain. And anybody also interested, there is another version for pre-war like just before it started. So that's what we're at there. Uh, it is an amazing kit. Yes, it does come with photo etch right here. And, and it's only this big. This is kind of interesting. I've never built this something this small. Like, really. Like when you compare it to I, my... Uh, Mustang, which would be here. I started this a long time ago and I still haven't even finished it, but here. 132 to 148, and that's only up one scale they usually build. So, it's a pretty, pretty small model, very intricate, it's gonna be fun. Test my skills. Yeah, definitely gonna be using these a lot, and might have to switch up which ones I use. Like much 
bigger. So I, I hope you guys enjoy this build. I know uh, Charlie and Mac and I have been really dying to get started on it. So I'll see you guys all around. Be good.